Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, we have the 24-hour uh, rainfall totals, and um, you know we didn't really get much rain overnight in terms of amounts. We did have some scattered light showers all over the place, uh, but you know it added up to maybe a, a hundredth of an inch, a couple hundredths of an inch, and that's about all we got. So hey, it was nice to get a little wet ground. So early today, uh, next couple of hours, we'll have a few showers left over, and then the afternoon we're dry. Slight chance for a shower Thursday morning, maybe just a stray in the afternoon, and then we're definitely dry for Friday. So I'll talk about what's going on for that Thursday precip chance. That's uh, something that's kind of re recent. Now our temperatures will be chilly next couple of days. Highs only near 60 degrees. I mean, upper 50s tomorrow, that's way below the average of 72, but it's not unheard of. I mean, we do get these cool spells in October, and then we're in the upper 60s to around 70 going into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be very nice out, dry out. So uh, what's happening is the upper level low I talked about yesterday, it's over us right now, spinning, but it's going to be moving out as we go through the morning hours. However, even though it moves out to sea, it's going to kind of strengthen the surface low. And instead of the surface low moving away from us, it's going to actually push back west a little bit and throw a little moisture in our direction. So uh, that's going to happen tomorrow. Right now, this is from the upper level low, the showers that you see at the moment. And there's uh, quite a bit in here, northeast North Carolina, from Elizabeth City to Corolla to Kitty Hawk, down to Michoud's and Manio, and then a little around Edenton and Windsor. Uh, also a little bit around South Mills. So we go to the south side, we got some very light precip around Hickory, Fentress, and over into the Princess Anne area of Virginia Beach. Uh, again, this is mostly light precip and drizzle, and that goes over to Sandbridge and uh, Back Bay. But Norfolk up to Newport News, quiet. Uh, quiet from Denby up to Gloucester and quiet around Melfa. Just a couple sprinkles in those spots. So the precip moves out by the time we hit 8, 9 a.m. We're done and uh, we'll have drying conditions at midday and we'll have partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. Looks good later today. Winds will be out of the north 10 to 15, gust to 20. Now tonight, that offshore low that I talked about, it strengthens out there, pushes back west, pushes a little moisture in here. And so we see some isolated shower tonight and tomorrow, mostly along the coast. But still, there could be one or two inland, and that's in the, uh, the morning mostly. Midday in the afternoon on Thursday, it's looking better. We'll have partly cloudy skies again, and those uh, winds will pick up out of the north even more. Gust to 25 tomorrow. So tonight, temperatures will drop down into the 40s, some 50s near the shore, a couple of 30s out towards Franklin and Wakefield, maybe a little frost out towards I-95, but that's, that should be limited now with the cloud cover. All right, so boating forecast day. Small craft advisories up, seas 3 to 4 feet, the base 2 to 4 feet. And uh, the tropics, you know, we're watching this disturbance out here. It is moving west towards the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. The models keep it down that way even in the next few days. But we'll just watch it carefully to make sure that it stays down there. Hopefully it stays very weak. It doesn't have a big impact on that region. So for us, some isolated showers tomorrow due to the offshore low, 59. It moves away. And then Thursday afternoon, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are all looking pretty good. Temperatures will be chilly on Thursday, and it's breezy, but uh, we'll be in the upper 60s Friday and Saturday, and then near 70 on Sunday. Got some low 70s early next week. 50